Welcome everybody to Year in Size Coding Part 2. We're going through the rest of the month of 2022 and highlighting all of the best uh, size coding entries from uh, 8 bytes to 512 bytes that happened throughout uh, the year of 2022. Uh, I'm your host PS, hope you enjoyed the selection that we put together for you and uh, let's get right into it and show the best of releases from 2022. Uh, kicking things off, we had uh, Levi 32 bytes released uh, in August uh, 2022 by Helmut. Um, then we had uh, Love Byte Turbo happening, a demo party happening inside a demo party uh, at Evoke, uh, which was really fun to to put together. I want to highlight specifically the time lapse. Uh, production that was released there uh, put together by dave 84 but all of the different community uh, participated in this and doing different versions it was like an open source version of trying to optimize the specific effect and uh, it became a really interesting video uh, to see the different versions of the effect then we had silly venture happening in poland an atari uh, demo party that uh, always has some size coding competitions. Uh, we have a couple intros that we wanted to highlight. The first one was uh, Venturo by Marky Design. It got first place on the Atari ST STE uh, intro competition for 128 bytes. And then the 256 byte intro competition was won by Chrysanthemy by uh, Jakub Husak uh, for the Atari XLXE. Uh, both of them really cool intros, so please do check them out. Uh, then uh, undefined party happened in St. Petersburg, uh, Russia. Uh, relatively small party to compensate that Chaos Constructions wasn't happening this year because of the political turmoil happening. A um, couple intros being released there. One of them was this one, Undefined by Market Design, got first place in the Undefined Tiny Intro competition. It was a double release for both Pico 8 and the Tick 80. Um, moving on to the Umalauta 22 years combined intro demo competition uh, in Finland. We have 7 tips for saving money on electricity by Umalauta made for the Tick 80 with a very interesting uh, sound connection with, uh, with the visuals. Then Xenium happening in Poland also had a couple of uh, competitions dedicated to size coding. Uh, the first one that we had to highlight was the MS DOS 256 byte intro competition. It was won by Don Breaker of uh, by Marky Design for the MS DOS, as we mentioned. Um, they also had an Atari XL uh, 256 byte. 256 byte intro competition which was won by put things into perspective by Korg of Agenda and then they also had a ZX Spectrum uh, competition which also had very interesting releases our favorite was actually the second place entry Night Swimming uh, by Joker um, moving on to Hungary uh, Function Demo Party typically also has a 256 byte uh, intro competition happening every year uh, was one of the highlights of the 156 byte category for many years. Um, they had a total of 12 entries, very good competition. And uh, in the first place, we got Veritas by Helmut having this uh, special tunnel with sound, a uh, really good entry. Moving on to Germany, uh, Nordlicht uh, happened there. They had a 512 byte intro competition was won by a Commodore 64 entry help poltergeist by uh, for agent oh really cool entry uh, definitely check it out um, outside of any competition we had a special version of uh, Mosity of XE XL for the a book uh, magazine that was released and also elements by Jetset Entertainment was also released for the Micro W8, also worth uh, checking out. Uh, in South America, we had a flash party happening as always. They had a 256 byte intro competition again this year. And a couple intros we wanted to highlight. San Flop di Siberuja Odyssey by Ale Perez for the Magnavox Odyssey 2, which is not very common platform to see releases for especially size coding stuff um, and then in first place we had super highway by market design going uh, doing a tick 80 mode z version of their uh, highways uh, trick that they previously had done uh, nice release as well 
Moving on to back to Germany, we had the Deadline Demo Party happening with the 256-byte intro competition. Uh, second place was uh, Vox, Populi, Vox Populi by Marquee Design. And in uh, first place, Paradox 64 bytes by Helmut. Uh, really doing some rate casting in 64 bytes, which you don't have much space uh, to do that. Moving on to other entries, we had a cafe demo party happening in Kazan, Russia with a couple of uh, competitions of uh, size coding entries. The first one that we wanted to highlight was uh, Brave New World uh, for the low-end 256 byte intro competition, it was made by Marquee Design for the Atari. Then they also had the Fantasy Console uh, competition for size coding stuff. In second place we get the Giza uh, by Market Design. A special feature because the code is shared between uh, Pico 8, Tick 80 and Micro W8. Uh, both of, all of them, all three of them in 128 bytes. So very interesting release here. And in first place we had Holes 256 bytes by D Art, uh, which also featured the very interesting Micro W8 uh, release. Um, then we had the High End 256 byte intro competition, which was won uh, by Gene X with uh, Peacock, this uh, fractal uh, plasma uh, thing for the MS DOS. They also had a couple of releases for specific old school uh, computers. The ZX Spectrum, in particular, had a very interesting 256 byte intro competition. It was won by Spin of Gogin, very interesting release. And then for the BK001001, we had CSI World 256 bytes by uh, Kuvo, uh, who got first place. Uh, also, very cool, worth checking out. Then we move on to Inertia Demo Party in Portugal, which also had a couple of different uh, size coding uh, dedicated uh, competitions. The first one that we handed to highlight was the 128 byte intro competition, which was won by a micro layer of a marquee design uh, for, the, um, for the micro W8. Uh, then we also had a dedicated Fantasy Console 512 byte intro competition. Uh, a lot of good entries here. Uh, the first one that I wanted to highlight got third place, Ajib by Zep, uh, made for the Pico 8, uh, probably the best Pico 8 512 uh, byte intros that you can see uh, to this day. Um, second place, Reflecting Kubo Balls by Shai uh, for the Tick 80. And then uh, in first place, Stroboscope by Pestis of uh, Brainless Colders, uh, very uh, intense multi scene uh, intro that really uh, was very interesting to see. Then in Poland we had the winter edition of uh, Silly Venture, they always have some size coding uh, entries there. Also dedicated to the Atari, uh, we had a very good entry for the Atari Falcon uh, called Manger Marcher FC uh, that got first place on the 256 byte intro competition of the Atari Falcon. And then for the Atari XLXE Village by PSU of uh, Trix uh, won that one. This was also in December and uh, a couple of other things that we wanted to highlight that happened in December. Uh, VCC, the Vintage Computing Christmas Challenge organized by Logiker had an insane amount of entries, a lot of size coding uh, stuff uh, happening there. Very worth checking out the video and the results and the different entries for the different platforms. Uh, if you enjoy uh, cold golfing and size coding in different uh, platforms. Uh, then we had the Tiny Code Christmas organized by Love Byte, uh, which also had a, a video uh, showcasing the different stuff. Uh, particularly interesting if you are if you were learning to do size coding in uh, fantasy consoles, uh, stepping stone to getting into size coding uh, overall, also worth checking out. And then a shout out as well to Field Effects, who's been organizing uh, the Monday uh, night by jam sessions that uh, we put together different people programming for the TIC 80 uh, with a lot of size coding involved as well. It's been uh, very interesting to check out every single Monday. Also worth mentioning the Pico 1K Jam organized by Liquid Dream during September 2022. Total of 83 entries released, a lot of small games and things, but also some demo scene related content in here. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this selection of uh, size coding entries that we had going through all of the year highlights. Hope you found some hidden gems. Hope you remembered a few uh, entries that you might have forgotten. Um, 
See you next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the love bite. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.